Yeah, good day YouTube viewers. Welcome to the shed again and I just thought I'd like to show you my latest project. What I've been working on lately is a cosmic ray detector. And basically it's just a device for detecting cosmic rays entering the atmosphere. With this thing I've basically repurposed an old telephone exchange box to put all the electronics in. And I've incorporated some uh, Nixie tubes as a readout display. This in a nutshell with a cosmic ray detector. You've got a pair of detectors here which are photomultipliers looking at scintillator crystals and the scintillator crystals emit a very brief flash of light when the cosmic ray particle travels through it and the photomultiplier will convert a photon of light into an electron and then it's accelerated through a whole series of dynodes which is measured as an output pulse which is then counted. And here's basically one of the photomultipliers I use which is an end view type. And here's the detector pack here, these things. So basically here's the photomultiplier on the end and, and the scintillator crystal assembly is in here. So when you get a coincidence detection, which is basically a cosmic ray particle going through both the detectors at the same time, you register as a count on the device here and then increments of display. And on each of the channels, I put in some counters as well, which just gives a binary count display. Just makes it look interesting and shows you the detector activity. And this is something here just to sort of give a little, little bit of a demonstration of the detector activity. I've got a whole bunch of old lantern mantles. The old style ones I used to use in the old pressure lamps and things. And they used, uh, I believe it's thorium oxide in the mantle, which increases the incandescence of the flame and give, basically emits a very bright light. So these things are quite radioactive basically give a demonstration of that so, so I get the detector here when I pass it near the mantles you can see the activity on that channel increases greatly I'll take these little guys away again Now it's just sort of settling down to the background radiation and that. Anyway, here's a view inside the enclosure. So basically you've just got the various power supplies over this side here. High voltage power supply for photomultiplier. Driver boards full of the Nixie tubes and things like that over here and the main count and discriminator board here and also on the count board I've just got some vintage uh, binary driven digital displays hard to come by these days these ones
No worries. Thank you very much for watching.